What's going on everybody? Today I'm bringing you guys a video on how to score in the NHL 23. Here we go. Alright, so for the first for the first goal I have to show you guys, it's the last second cross crease. In this scenario, it's a two-on-one, two-on-two, it can be either. It works on the forehand or backhand. What you want to do is you want to drive your player all the way down to just about the goal line. And then right before you go, you start to go behind the net, you want to send it across the crease. And this should give your, your winger or your center or whoever's coming down on the other side a perfect pickup. It should go right by the D-man and you should be able to get it and put it in the back of the net. Now, this goal isn't 100% effective, but it will work a good bit of the time. For the second goal, we have the far side wrap. You can do this goal on your forehand or your backhand. It works very well either way. What you want to do is you want to, if you find yourself below the net, you want to wait till somebody steps. Uh, once the D-man steps, the compy is not going to fill its position. And you should be able to just come right across the front of the net and pot it far side. You want to try to be as close as you can to the goalie whenever you're coming uh, in front. However, you want to make sure you get the shot off before your opponent gets a lucky poke or the goalie even gets a piece of it. Now, this goal is probably the most popular goal in HUT as it is probably the most effective goal you can possibly do. It is fairly easy to set up. However, you can counter this goal by skill zoning or even just being very patient on your defense. There are some cards in the game where with the longer stick, it is easier to reach across the crease. However, you can do this goal with virtually any card in the game. Now this next one we have is the close forehand shot. Now this shot can be used on either any any kind of one-on-ones with a goalie. Uh, if you're just coming to the goalie right before you hit him, you just pull it backhand and then pull it forehand right away and just rip it. Doesn't matter where you aim as long as you're shooting it um, on your forehand, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. This goal, the shot usually does work. It usually turns into a goal. Now it's not 100% effective. However, you will get a really nice shot off of this. Now, this wrap is what I like to call the glitch wrap, as it seems to literally glitch the goalie out into not hugging the post or not getting to the post in time. What you want to do is go behind the net. Have You want to have some speed going behind the net. Then once your stick gets a little bit outside of the post, that's when you want to hit up to go for the wrap. Uh, you can ALT to give yourself a better position, but I think it works perfectly either way. Next, we have the goal line shot. For this shot, you want a right-handed player on the right side or a left-handed player on the left side. You want to bring them down to the bottom of the circles. Right before you hit the bottom of the circles, you want to bring it on your backhand. And then as you're hitting the bottom of the circles, you want to slightly pull a forehand and then shoot it before you actually pull a forehand. And doing this will give you the space for the goalie to get in the animation of hugging the post, which will give you that space to sneak the puck right in. Rebounds. What you want to do for a rebound, these are very simple. All you want to do for a rebound is you want to shoot it far side and low. You want to put the, the puck on the ice. Uh, you want to aim far side, low. That way it, it hits right off the pad, right to whoever's crashing. And you'll get a good pickup and you should be able to pot that thing right in the back of the net. Tips and deflections. Now this is very easy. All you want to do is get the puck in the zone and send it to your D-man. Just send it to the point. Put it on. Wrist shot low. You're going to tip it. One way to get tips more often is holding RB while you're shooting it at the net. That way your players will act as a sauce pass and they will actually try to tip it themselves.
anyways guys that's all i got today i hope this video helps if it does please leave a like subscribe comment only 2.9 percent of people who watch my videos are subscribed if you can please hit that subscribe button it'll mean a lot to me my past few videos have been doing pretty well so i appreciate you guys a lot that's gonna do it for me guys peace